Good afternoon. My name is Specialist Wells, and I will be the one conducting this class. Before I get started, I'd like to say the risk for anything happening is low. We're indoors, the weather is nice. However, in the case of any emergencies, please follow instructions from those in charge. Today, we're going to be covering the topic of accountability and the leader. Before we get started, please note that this class is unclassified. So the purpose of this topic, this, this class, Accountability and the Leader, is to kind of insight why accountability is important to be an effective leader, okay? This is a key trait for a leader to have. So let's start off by talking about what a leader is. So a leader essentially is someone who guides or directs a group of people. They, they provide that common goal for that group to get together and work towards. This is very important because in the Army, us as sergeants, we are leaders. We have, to be, we have to be positively engaged with those soldiers. We have to tell them what we expect, tell them what we need them to do in order to accomplish the mission. Remember, without followers, there is no leaders. Without leaders, there are no followers. So we both play a hand-in-hand -hand role to accomplish that common task. So now the main topic of this class. What is accountability? So accountability is basically being liable or responsible for several different things. So you can be liable for something, someone, or your own actions, okay? So let's hit on that more. So different types of accountability, especially in the military, one of the biggest accountability or responsibilities that we have is our equipment. So whether it's a hand receipt, a property book, uh, just any gear or equipment we sign for, any 2062s, um, that we sign out or we sign to other people, um, we need to have accountability of that at all times. Um, this, this equipment is very expensive and you want to keep a positive control of that at all times. Also, accountability of our soldiers. We always want to make sure we know where our soldiers are at, make sure we know they're alive, make sure we know they are okay. Um, this is very important. We have to look out for our soldiers and make sure they're always good to go. Now, what we're really going to touch on for this class is a leader's accountability for their own self and their own actions. And you might be thinking, why is this important? Why is this one of the, why is this what we're gonna focus on? So let's talk about that. So one of the main reasons self-accountability is important as a leader, especially in the military, is to prevent toxic leadership. So what I mean by this is oftentimes, way too many times than it should happen, leaders may be in a position where they fail to complete their objective and they put the blame on one of their soldiers or someone within that group. Um, when this is done, this creates a toxic environment where these soldiers, they no longer have the willingness or the, motiv the motivation to work for the sergeant, knowing that, hey, if things go south again, it's just gonna reflect badly on us. Um, so you really wanna hold yourself accountable. Um, it's a lot easier said than done. Us as humans, it is human nature to not want to take the humility and the blame and say, hey, I messed up. But this is a very key trait to have, okay? Um, with this, whenever you make a mistake, you need to learn from it, sit back, analyze it, and say, okay, maybe I could have done this differently, or maybe we could have done this differently as a team to get a positive outcome. So it's very important that we learn from these mistakes rather than pushing it off or pushing on someone else. So we're going to talk about how we can apply this um, self-accountability to be an effective leader. So we're going to talk about what we're going to call the five C's, okay? So this is common purpose, clear expectation, communication and alignment, coaching and collaboration, and consequences. So let's go over this starting with common purpose. Common purpose, you wanna ensure that your team knows why they're doing something, why it's important that they're doing it, um, along with they need to know what they're doing. They need to, you need to get together as a team, realize what your common goal is, and ensure that you really stress the importance of getting this goal done properly. Clear expectations, this is our second C. So as a leader, you need to sit down and say, hey, we, we're all tracking what we need to do, um, and now you need to address what the end result needs to be. Um, as a leader, this is super important because if you don't tell them what the end result needs to be, um, the operation will go, will go awry throughout. 
because they might not, they might be confused on where they need to end up. So you need to set a clear expectation, what's expected from these soldiers. Also, ensure that they are engaged on the same page and they're moving together the whole time to achieve that goal. Communication and alignment. Questions, questions, questions. So what I mean by this is not only should you be interactive and answer any questions that your soldiers may have, you should also be asking them questions. You should be, you should be in this operation just as much as them. Like I said, we're a team. We work together towards a common goal. So you are accountable for asking those questions as well as answering any questions your soldiers have. Throughout the process, you want to continue to uh, remind them of that common purpose. Um, if you don't do this, they might just be going through the motions and not really caring about why, why the task is important. So you want to constantly remind them, hey, this is what we're doing, this is why we're doing it, and this is the importance of it. So keep stressing that throughout your task. Next, we have coaching and collaboration. So this kind of ties in with the last one, asking the questions, being interactive. You just want to work with your team uh, anytime they need it. Um, as long as the time per, uh, permits, get with your team, help them out, anything that, that they may need. Um, you are a leader, so you should have some own, your own uh, knowledge and experience. So provide that to them. They, they need that experience to, to help accomplish the task. They are less experienced, possibly. Also, continue to make sure everyone is playing their own part. Make sure nobody else is doing someone else's part while someone's sitting back. Um, that's not good team cohesion. Consequence. So this is our last C. This is, once the mission is done, this is reflecting on the task. Um, you want to ask, was that common purpose met or was it not? Um, hopefully it was, but keep in mind, um, even if it wasn't, like we said, you take that accountability, you look at what went wrong, look at how you can fix it, and then in the event that you have another situation similar, you're able to learn from your past experiences. Also, not all consequences are negative. Uh, we see it too often times that anytime there is a mistake or a failure in a mission, the leader is quick to let their soldiers know, hey, you messed up, or hey, we, we failed our mission. Um, there can be positive consequences. Um, just make sure when there is a positive consequence, we don't see it enough in the Army. Um, when things do go right, when your soldiers do a good job, you need to tell them, hey, you guys did great, you worked hard, we accomplished our goal, we got to where we needed to be. Um, this is very important to keep that motivation and willingness. So next time when you have a mission, they're going to be working even harder than last time, maybe. So in summary, an effective leader must be able to take accountability for their own actions, not just for their equipment and soldiers. Granted, those two are very important. Um, their own actions and taking accountability for their stuff is where they start to um, be a good leader for these soldiers. It is very key to being an effective leader. And that will wrap up everything for today. Do I have any questions?